<laughs> You're watching A Recipe for Nightmares, exploring the Fizzabrice Cookbook with your host, Robbie D. I'm going to rattle through this one today because I have lots to do, as I'm sure you have as well. This is the show where I, horror author John McNee, work my way through the recipes of horror icon Vincent Price from his famous cookbook, A Treasury of Great Recipes. This is the book, and today's recipe is Sloppy... Sloppy Mo Sandwich. Who was Mo? Best not ask. We require rye bread, Swiss cheese, Danish ham, butter or mayonnaise, dill pickle... No, no, absolutely not. If you want dill pickle, you have dill pickle. I will not have it in this house. There has to be a line. Cabbage, green pepper, salad oil, racket club spiced vinegar, oh yes, salt and pepper. We're going to start by making the coleslaw. So step one, shred very fine one cup of cabbage. One cup of cabbage, finely shredded. I have some ice water here and I'm going to soak it in the ice water. and put it in the refrigerator for one hour. So that's already set me back considerably. I was hoping this was going to be over with fairly quickly tonight, but no, it's gonna take me the whole evening. I will point out while we've got a moment, I don't know if you've noticed uh, the paint job, uh, but yes, it, there's an, a new color on the walls, which is much better than that old uh, horrible green shade that used to be up there. The size of this kitchen, it would take your average painter decorator what one two days to complete the job but as we well know I am no average guy so uh, it took me four months uh, still a bit patchy up there. there right we'll call that an hour drain this and dry it well just patting my cabbage dry Cut four very thin slices of green pepper. So thin, almost too thin. I'm going to remove the seeds, cut the pepper into two inch slices and mix it with the slaw. Now it does seem to me that there's you know, a rather unfair ratio of cabbage to pepper, but who am I, who am I? And now the moment of triumph. In comes the racket club spiced vinegar. To the coleslaw we are going to add one teaspoon. So it was all worth it. I mean to be absolutely fair you can't smell this but you would not want to add more than one teaspoon I don't think. Just imagine how much coleslaw I'm going to be able to get out of that and never eat. Add one tablespoon of any salad oil of your choice, some salt, some pepper, and you know, give it a stir. That's your coleslaw. On to the sloppy mo sandwich itself. From a loaf of fresh rye bread, cut two very thin slices. I like to go into the, uh, the very middle. No one would ever know. Spread with softened butter or a little mayonnaise. I'm going to use butter because uh, mayonnaise is disgusting. No pickles, no mayonnaise. Get a nice spread on there. Then take about five slices each of ham and cheese. Uh, I mean, the recipe says about five, so you know six, seven, who's really counting? And alternate ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese, ham, cheese. Ham, cheese. Top with a second slice of bread and then slice. Oh yes, yes, see that's, that's exactly what you want. I mean, it might not look 
uh, totally even, but it is a sloppy mode. So that, I mean, you get what you expect. For presentation, arrange it on a plate and add a big mound of coleslaw. And, you know, dill pickle, if you so wish. But not in my house, right? And there we have it, a glorious sloppy mo sandwich. As it's a recipe from the famous Racket Club in Palm Springs, California, I was going to pair today's dish with club soda, but I didn't get any. So instead, today's dish will be paired with uh, Diet Fanta and the Vincent Price horror film, The Monster Club. Vincent Price himself apparently said this film was terrible, but don't just take his word for it, check it out for yourself. Oh, during their short history, you know, humans have subjected other humans to death by burning, hanging, decapitation, strangulation, electrocution, shooting, drowning, crushing, racking, disemboweling, <laughs> and other methods far, far too revolting for the delicate stomachs of this August the set. I never realized he was so Today's episode of A Recipe for Nightmares is brought to you by In Darkness Delight, Masters of Midnight. This chilling anthology of original stories reveals the many faces of modern horror and features such literary talents as Josh Mallerman, William Meikle, Jason Parent, Mark Matthews, Israel Finn, Evans Light, John McNee, and others. I'll put the link down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, join me again next time for another recipe for nightmares.